my name's Cara Bergen, I'm a graduate electrical engineer and I've been here just over a year now. When I was going for a job, um, because part of my uh, engineering degree you have to do practical work to be able to graduate, um, and one of these requirements was that I had to do 200 hours minimum of um, practical engineering work. Um, so I applied for a role as an electrical engineering assistant in a workshop and basically throughout the interview, I made it to the interview stage, and throughout the interview the employer was making several comments on my appearance and um, how it might be better suited to a male because I'd need a you know, be able to handle carrying heavy things and and throughout the whole interview I was very adamant like I'm quite happy to get my hands dirty. Anyone who knows me knows that I like getting my hands dirty and that I can hold my own when it comes to lifting heavy objects and probably to the point where I'm a bit quite overly stubborn on that on that point. Um, so I left the interview feeling really deflated and kind of just offended I guess. Yeah. Um, and then after talking to a few of my other friends at uni who'd had similar experiences um, when they were applying for jobs, it kind of came across as though I didn't get that job or that role because I was a female. I kept applying and sure enough I ended up finding um, a few roles with companies who probably had a bit uh, less ingrained sexism and probably more um, gender equality within their companies. Um, ask questions earlier. Ask those questions that you think are stupid. Don't sit and stew on problems and think you can solve them on your own when you get stuck. Um, you have a lot of really experienced people around you. Draw on their knowledge. Um, yeah, don't sit stewing on a problem. Ask. There's one project I'm working on at the moment um, and that's based in a town that's not far from my own hometown so um, it's quite exciting for me because it, it feels like I'm, I'm at home um, and I'll be based in this town for this project so I'm looking forward to it just because in a way I feel like I'm indirectly um, helping this town or the, it's, it's based in Northland, so in a way I feel like I'm indirectly helping this town into a more modern age because growing up in the far north I know it, it, it could do with some reinvigoration, a little bit more energy and, and, and more people coming to the town for the right reasons. I think a lot of um, the publicity the far north gets isn't always the most positive, so I don't know, something more exciting to happen up there is, is what's inspiring me.